When Jeanette Lucchese was a small child, a terrible accident left her immobilized in a body cast for six months. And it was in that time frame that Jeanette began to develop her drawing skills. And since then, Jeanette has evolved into an artist that is a whirling dervish of creativity and diversity. She is a printmaker, painter, sculptor, illustrator, graphic artist, as well as a sound artist and emerging poet. Jeanette is an abstract artist who creates pieces that challenge the viewer to see the world through a fantastical lens. I'm drawn to abstract primarily because I believe life is abstract. Um, thoughts are abstract. You know, we have these ideas and, and the minute it comes to fruition, it becomes reality. Abstraction has so many possibilities. It's more honest of a reflection for me than trying to recreate what I see. I, I endeavor to try to express how I feel. And I guess in being a graphic designer for a great many years, you know, you, you understand that you are able to create um, a pleasing picture. You're able to create a, um, it, it, it's considered branding now, everybody's considering branding themselves, this, this image that they make of themselves and, and, and businesses of themselves to present to the world. And it may not be the reality, you know, it's more so a facade that everyone puts on. So for me, I think that an honest reflection is one uh, that comes from uh, an intuitive mark making of one that's maybe spontaneous, more like the surrealists and the automotistes from uh, Quebec where it's all free form and, and um, consequently that ends up being very abstract. I consider myself a multidisciplinary artist. I think that um, for myself it was a natural progression to be a multidisciplinary artist. Uh, when I was young, my, I, I, my family are makers. My mom was a seamstress and my dad was a carpenter. And uh, it was, you know, part of what we would do to, to be in helping my mother with her sewing. I learned at a very early age to sew. So making was just part of what we would do. And for dad, I was always down there playing with the wood. So. For me, just creating things, and it doesn't much matter from what medium it is, was um, uh, something that I always enjoyed doing. But then as, as I moved into my art practice, I found that a lot of times what I thought about was how everything was intertwined in pushing boundaries of one to another and how I like, the, I like using the, the term cross-pollinating disciplines because of the fact that um, I, I enjoy creating artworks that, that are nondescript, because I think that if the world saw people more so as nondescript, we probably would get along a lot better. I enjoy the fact that and that some of my paintings are considered drawings. I actually go to the extent of submitting them to, there's the drawing um, exhibition in Toronto and I, I'm always honored to be included because it, it does mean that the works can be considered either drawing or painting and I know it sounds crazy for that to be important but it basically is. It, it's, it's a matter of trying to have people look at things differently and I enjoy when that does happen because it opens up the possibility that they can look at life differently. Green art makes me feel different ways at different times, depending what I am making, you know. 
I've, been, I've created some sculptural pieces that I've chuckled through the entire piece because they are ironic. And, and um, you know, I created a piece called, I wanted to submit to an exhibition that was um, a souvenir as art. And I created a sculptural piece that was called I Lost My Soul in Italy. And it was a, a shoe that I had brought back from Italy that I actually had lost the soul in Italy. So, you know, there's times when it's just really hilarious and you're putting these pieces together and you hope people will enjoy them and get the joke, you know. And then there's other pieces that are a little bit more serious and, and you know, you just wonder if, you know, they, they will understand it and you hope if people will understand it. And then there's times when I'm creating that I'm, I'm actually not thinking about anything. I'm trying to remind myself just to follow. You know, just to, to move forward and follow and to try because not to try to pre predict what it's going to, it's going to look like um, because of the fact that it, then it becomes contrived. So there's a lot of different things depending on what I do and, and how it all makes me feel. But I, sometimes I get devastated, like I'll look at something when I think, you know, I'll stand back and I go, oh my God. It's the worst thing I've ever created, and it's you know, it's, then you come back another day and you go, okay, well maybe it's not that bad, and you know, and then the, the normal things that most artists go through. Art to me is just part of who I am. For me, it's in a fulfillment. Even even with the graphic design, I gravitated to graphic design because I wanted to live every day of my life in creating something. Find it's it's just a necessity for me being it's a state of being for me to create. It's why everyone that is creative and works in a creative field, I think, works that way. It's because it's a necessity within them. It's like a gene that you have, you know, that you just got to do it. It doesn't make much sense to most people, but you just have to do it.